So you might be having an issue with your iPhone and your, your Apple Watch, or for some reason your Apple Watch is just not pairing up with your iPhone. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. The very first thing I'd recommend doing though is moving away from your Apple Watch from your iPhone and then bringing it back closer to your specific iPhone. Making sure your Apple Watch is charged up and everything, that is the very first thing you want to make sure. Now let's say your Apple Watch is totally fine and everything, but your iPhone doesn't seem to be pairing up. Well, the first thing you may want to do is make sure that your iPhone is up to date on the version of software that's suitable, as well as your Apple Watch. If your Apple Watch is on a newer version of your Watch OS, but the iPhone that you have may not be suitable for it, well, what you're going to have to do is go ahead and go into your settings of your iPhone, first make a backup of everything, then go inside of your settings, click on general, go and click on software update, and just go and see if there's an update available for your you know, iPhone. If there is, then that is pretty much the first thing you may want to fix, and that might end up fixing the problem. Now let's say you are up to date on both your Apple Watch and your iPhone, and it's still not working. Well, the next thing you want to do is make sure that when you're going through and you know, you're actually bringing your Apple Watch close and you get that little prompt that comes up, you want to make sure that you're not randomly dis you know, dis disconnecting your Apple Watch or disconnecting your iPhone. That can also cause some issues as well. But another thing you want to do is make sure both your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are on on your specific iPhone. So what you want to do here is make your way back into your settings like this. You want to scroll down into Bluetooth right here. And all you want to do is go ahead and make sure that your Bluetooth up here is fully turned on. If this is turned off, that can be another thing that can cause some issues as well. Now, another thing you may want to do is hop into your Apple Watch application, which is right here. And all you want to do is go ahead and if it doesn't actually come up at the bottom, you can go and click start pairing right here and you can just automatically start the process for yourself. So you can click right there, you can click set up for myself, and it can start searching for Apple Watches here. And your Apple Watch should end up coming up in this specific area as long as you bring your Apple Watch close to it. And that should be some ways to go ahead and fix it. You can also try restarting your Apple Watch, restarting your iPhone, but those are pretty much the main ways to do it in my opinion. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.